Good morning, my dear students. Welcome you all for the Uwebella C University. Uh, I'm sure that you are having a series of introductory sessions here. So I'm Harshani Vikramaratna, Head, Department of Computer Science and Informatics. I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the IT center of the Uwebella C University. This is really important because uh, you all have to access to the IT center and you have to get the services of the IT center throughout your student life. So here I'm going to give you a brief introduction and uh, further you can uh, get the more information once you enter into the university. So Uwabellasi University or UWU IT Center. So why do we need that kind of a center in a university? So you all know that uh, information technology, it plays a big role in the world in every field. And this uh, situation, especially in this pandemic and crisis situation, you all are in, the, in your home and uh, doing this distance kind of education. And you know the importance of having a sound IT knowledge. So irrespective of the field you study, you may have selected to a management degree or a degree that you are following in a, uh, animal science and export agriculture. Respective of your degree program, having a kind of a sound IT knowledge is important for you to carry out your uh, studies smoothly during your undergraduate pro uh, period. So IT center is there uh, for you to help uh, in every aspect, if you're having any kind of knowledge gap, we will help you to uh, fulfill this gap and also uh, any kind of uh, problems related to IT you are facing, we are here to help you throughout your uh, student life. So generally IT center is used for teaching uh, special uh, subjects, kind of uh, essential IT skills development subjects, you may have already aware that you have to follow uh, IT or information technology subjects. All the uh, undergraduate students of the university, you have to follow that course. So in here, we are uh, filling the gap of all these students that if you have, if you don't have a basic uh, IT knowledge, we are teaching you that IT knowledge. So especially there you are learning these uh, Microsoft Office packages and uh, simple networking and hardware uh, stuff that you need to have in your day-to-day -day life. And those uh, knowledge will be uh, useful for you when you are, uh, for you to carry out your academic uh, smoothly. Apart from that, uh, the IT center it is conducting uh, basic networking, programming, and also statistical and mathematical subjects like QRE and statistical methods in UW IT center. You have to uh, access IT center to learn all these subjects and especially to uh, do the practicals of these subjects. Uh, so apart from uh, conducting those kind of course modules, uh, there are some other things that the IT center is doing. Uh, the IT unit is attached to the Department of Computer Science and Informatics, but it is kind of a, a common facility for entire university. So other than the practical classes, uh, IT center is responsible for managing, maintaining and troubleshooting all the IT related components in the university. So um, our university, uh, we are having uh, computer labs, main computer lab, which is having 130 computers. And in block D, we are having two computer labs. And block E, we are having another computer lab, which is having 180 computers. And there are so many other uh, laboratory facilities. And also one of the most important thing that uh, students need to aware is that uh, UW premises is covered with free Wi-Fi zones and you will get a separate user account to access Wi-Fi network and laboratory computers. So 
you don't need to stick into the computer laboratories to access into the internet. In anywhere in the UW premises, you can log into the Wi Fi account and you can uh, do your academic activities. So it is really important and uh, you have to know these, uh, your hostels inside student hostels are also covered with the Wi-Fi facility. And uh, I have uh, mentioned the bandwidth just for you to know that it is kind of a speedy network. And uh, another facility given by uh, IT center is the email facility. Each and every student, once you registered to the uh, course unit in a university, you will get uh, an individual email address. Uh, so your email address, uh, the pattern is kind of a student registration number at std.uwu.ac.lk. For example, uh, your registration, if your badge is 21 and if you are registered for a computer science and technology degree program, you will get a CST 21 and your number 001 and then the rest of the part. So this is common for all the students. So you will get, uh, you all will get uh, individual email addresses and we are having group email addresses, badge wife, badge wise and staff academic staff, administrative staff, once you get into the university, you will get to know these patterns of these uh, email addresses. So is that important to have a university email address? Yes, it is, right? Uh, you can use these uh, email addresses for several things, especially, uh, when you are doing any kind of communications related to a university task, you have to use this university email address. For example, let's say that you are uh, uh, requesting something or you are asking something from your lecturer or you are submitting your uh, in, uh, medical or something. So anyhow, in, in any kind of communication that you are doing through with uh, academic or administrative, whatever the staff members of the Uwebelas University, you have to use this uh, university email address. And also you can use it uh, for several other opportunities uh, like uh, register with ResearchGate and so on. Another facility, one of the important facilities that you have to aware is the virtual learning environment or we refer it as VLE. Uh, VLE uh, from the day one of your academics begin, you have to access VLE because in this current situation, we are conducting, we are sharing all our lecture notes, reading materials, reference books and lecture recordings, everything where VLE. So we and every student will get a, a registration a credentials for the for registering the VLE. And once you got these uh, credentials, you have to register or you have to log into the VLE. And all the course modules that you have to follow, that you must follow during your first year, first semester, should be appear in your VLE. You can enter into the course modules and all the uh, information uh, such as uh, notices, announcements and also other uh, lecture notes, lecture recordings, assignments especially. Uh, all these things will be appear in your VLE. I believe you have uh, get a separate uh, training program regarding how to access VLE. So therefore, I'm not going to explain how to access VLE in this session. So you can log into VLE uh, and view the information and download assignments and everything uh, from VLE. And uh, you have to log into www.vle.uwu.ac.lk and you have to insert your uh, username and the given password and uh, 
at any time if you forget your username or password uh, there is a facility for you to reset it by yourself and in any case if you are having any problem in uh, logging to VLE or accessing some contents or uploading assignments or any any uh, issue you have to contact the IT center of the UWLAC University and also you have to remember that uh, most of the time students are querying uh, like um, uh, two three minutes before your assignments or exams but you have to uh, contact the uh, UIT center uh, with the sufficient time period so we will definitely resolve your problem. Uh, really is uh, you have to like once you get the all these uh, credentials your green credentials you have to uh, go there and try to submit the assignments and all because like uh, throughout your academic career irrespective whether uh, your academics will carry as uh, online or physical mode most of the time uh, lecture notes uh, assignments and everything will be shared uh, by VLE and most of the time uh, assessments MCQ like assessments and even take home assessments we are conducting uh, through VLE and also you can have uh, discussion forums and uh, kind of several facilities are there you have to log into the VLE and check out all these facilities by yourself. Uh, when we are, uh, uh, I just give you an understanding about the network of the UWLAC University. We have, uh, we are using internet protocol address version 6 or IPv6. Uh, so it has been implemented in the university premises. And also another facility given by the IT center is Edurom facility that means using uh, same uh, username and password that you are using to log into the Wi-Fi network of Uwebelas University you can use the same credentials uh, when uh, wherever you are going in academic environment like any other university in the Colum University of Colombo, Peradeniu or anywhere or even abroad if this Edurom facility is implemented, you can use your same username and password to log into that network. So that is one of the most important facility given by the university. So you have to use that one also. So normally uh, more than 3,000 3, devices are connected to the network and uh, IT center is uh, maintaining all these stuff. Uh, so as I have mentioned that uh, you have to use the computer laboratories of uh, Uwebelasa University and when you are enter into the university, their university computer laboratories, you have to follow some rules. So I'm going to explain these rules. So you have to keep all these things in mind because later you cannot say we didn't aware, right? You have to know these rules. First and most important thing is students are prohibited to enter the lab unless authorized by a staff member. You can use the computer labs, right? But there should be a purpose for you to enter into a lab. Uh, you can enter into a lab if you are having a lecture, practical class or you can enter into a computer lab even for your self studies but you have to get the prior approval. right? And MCL or main computer laboratory you can access it at any time if it is open but same time you have to check whether there is a lecture going on or if not with the permission you can enter into a computer laboratory and uh, before you are enter into the lab you have to remove your shoes right so, and also you have to keep all your belong unnecessary belongings outside the computer lab uh, there are shoe racks uh, outside the computer lab so you can remove your shoes and keep all these shoes 
outside the lab. You know that we have to maintain a good environment in the computer lab because we have to use these equipment for a longer period and dust and all the other uh, infections, we have to be very aware about these things. That's why these kind of rules are there. So I believe you will stick into these rules. And another important rule is that you are not allowed to have any kind of food or drink inside the computer laboratories. Right? Please do not bring any uh, foods or drinks for the lab and don't have uh, your snacks inside the computer laboratory. That's why I have mentioned before you are entering into the laboratory, you have to remove your shoes as well as you have to leave all these bags and uh, bottles outside the computer lab. And if you encounter any kind of problem while you are using a machine, I mean a computer in a laboratory, you have to report all these problems to some, someone responsible in a computer laboratory. It may be your lecturer, instructor, technical officer, network admin, anybody, right? And you should not attempt or you should not try to repair these uh, problems or any kind of uh, uh, things in the computer laboratory. You may, you may have the certificates, you may have the qualifications and you are doing it with a good intention. But anyhow, please don't do those stuff, right? If you encounter any problem, right? If you think that uh, your computer is not up to speed or any, uh, any simple problem, uh, you have to report it to a, somebody responsible in a computer lab do not try to fix it by yourself. It is prohibited, right? Sometimes even you have done it with a good intention, but if you caught uh, right uh, doing some uh, changes to a, a computer or any kind of equipment, it will not be good for you, right? And you have to be responsible when using equipment, software and all the other facilities in the lab. You know that we are we have to use these facilities and also we have to keep them uh, as it is for our future generations. So you have to be responsible when you are using equipments. Be careful and uh, use it with uh, good care, right? The same way that you are caring for your own devices, you have to care for the equipments in the computer laboratories too and all the other so even software and so on. And another rule, do not move any equipment, move or remove any equipment from its original position. You are not allowed to uh, move any simple cable or mouse or whatever, even a monitor or printer. Uh, you should not remove or you should not move it from its original position, right? Keep them as it is. And if in any case, if you need to uh, move this uh, equipment from its original place, you have to inform it to the relevant authorities and you have to get the uh, approval and then only you can move it to some other place. Otherwise, you, do, you should not try to move uh, these equipments in the laboratory to any other places. And most importantly, you should not try to change the settings of the computer, right? So I, I'm repeatedly telling you, you may aware, right? You can do these things, but do not try, right? Settings are there, uh, like it is not only your group, right? Uh, several people having several uh, level of IT knowledge is using the computer laboratories. So computer laboratory uh, machines, the settings are uh, common for each and every student. So if you need any kind of a special uh, configuration, 
right? You have to get the approval and with this approval you can, uh, not you, but your IT center people will do the changes on behalf of you. So you should not try to change any settings of the computer laboratory uh, equipments. And also, uh, it is your responsibility to keep the lab uh, clean and tidy at all time, right? Yes, there are people to clean the laboratory, but if you, it is uh, your responsibility, it is your property, right? You have to make it clean and tidy all the time. So do not throw unnecessary papers or anything uh, in the computer labs and always make sure that it is in proper condition. While you're using uh, computer labs, you should not delete or erase files or software from the computer without permission. Sometimes you may found the assignments or reports written by other students. So please don't delete or erase all these files, right? You can use the computer for your purpose and do not try to uh, delete or alter the other's work, right? And especially do not try to uh, install or uninstall any kind of uh, software, programs, games, or anything to a computer, uh, computers, right? So you are not permitted and also you are not allowed to install any kind of uh, software to the computers. And again, if you need any sophisticated software to be installed in a computer, we can do it, but first you have to get the approval and the IT staff members will install this software uh, for your computers, for your education purposes. Definitely it will not games or any kind of uh, entertainment uh, applications. Uh, you know that we are having an internet facility uh, Wi-Fi as well as uh, inside the computer laboratories. Uh, it is strictly only for educational purposes. It is kind of an ethical behavior that we are expecting from university undergraduate students, right? So always uh, we will not monitor you, right? But you have to aware that we have a classroom management systems are installed in the computer laboratories. So each and everything that you are doing with computer laboratory computers are monitored and the network admin can anytime turn off your uh, monitors or do kind of remote access to your computers. But anyhow, uh, it is your responsibility, it is your ethical behavior for not to use uh, internet facility for other entertainment or other uh, purposes than education. It is not given for you to play games with uh, friends or download uh, films or so on. It is strictly only for educational purposes. You can use it, but uh, make sure that if you are using uh, internet facility for uh, other purposes, you are blocking the right of other students uh, to do uh, their uh, activities smoothly. So those are the rules, uh, some of the rules. Uh, so once you get into the university, you will aware about uh, the other uh, things you have to follow. And here are the uh, staff members responsible for IT center. So myself, head of the department, uh, Harshani Vikramaratna, and we are having Thisara Indika Pereira, our network manager, and we are having system analyst Indika Virasundara and uh, technical officers. So these are the people that you have to contact uh, if you are having any kind of problem in re related to uh, facilities given by the IT center. 
So those are the things that, that I have wanted to uh, explain you regarding the IT center. So we are waiting for you all to see in computer laboratories using the high-end uh, facilities given by the Uberwella University. Until that, uh, keep safe and have a nice time. Thank you.